Hey everybody, welcome back to Live Free and Tool, and today we have a very interesting test. We're going to be pitting the 18 volt against the 40 volt batteries, and this is with Ryobi. Now, everyone may be saying, well, there's no comparison. Why would you be, you be doing that? Well, there is a particular request that I have, and I've actually heard it not once, but a few times out there, and they want to know what the runtime is running the same tool for these two batteries so they can actually see what the difference is. That's what we're going to be doing today. So I'm going to use the power inverters right here and I'm going to plug in a regular 4 amp hour battery and then I'm going to plug in both two 6 amp HP batteries and the respective power inverters and we're going to use the air cannon. And this works out really good because I know that it works on an 18 volt battery because that's what it's made for. Um, and we're going to use it on the hybrid version. So we're going to be plugging this in. We're going to be using the power inverters. So that really just means that we have our baseline tool to really get this test together. And let's just see how long it lasts. Now my prediction is that these are going to last twice as long as these just because of the pure power that these have over top of these. We're actually going to be do, using a time stamp security camera. And we're just going to watch them. We're going to see how long they actually run. But that's not all that we're going to do. Just for giggles, we're going to also going to be testing out the 9 amp hour 18 volt battery because if someone isn't ready to jump into the 40 volt line, yeah, maybe this is the alternative. Just buy a couple of the 9 amp hours and that may get you what you want to do. Okay, so without further waiting, let's just jump into the test and let's see how it goes.
Wow, so that testing took a long time time. And you know what? That's a good thing. We want these batteries to last as long as possible. It's a good brand, so I'm not going to complain about it, but I will say I put a lot of time and dedication into this. I do want to say the reason why I use this fan right here is because it draws 1.8 amps at 120 volts. Now, we have to see what is the watt hour um, that this draws, and that is 216 watts. And the reason why I use the fan is because it's a constant draw based upon the, um, you know, for the amperage. So it's not like a motor that's drilling in to where it hits a lot of friction. Well, airflow is pretty constant. So we're going to get a really good base analysis whenever we use this. And as you can see, whenever I ran the test, I showed you the run times at the end of the clips. Now, I know it's pretty quick. And the reason why I did it quick because I wanted to talk about it. Um, you know, the batteries themselves, when you compare 18 volts and 40 volts, um, you know, you're going to see the wattage is the big difference. You're going to get a lot more power out of a 40 volt than an 18 volt because you have the same amperage and how you find the power for that is you multiply the two and that's going to tell you what you're going to be able to do. So the 40 volt is going to run a lot bigger motors. It had, you know, it's meant for bigger tools. Whereas the 18 volt, that's really meant for your handheld uh, drills and, you know, some saws and things like that. Um, and I'm not going to say light duty jobs, just not as big as uh, some of the big batteries like you would use for yard trimmers, chainsaws, lawnmowers, things like that. So let's do a side by side comparison of these two and let's just really look at the run times. On the 4 amp hour batteries for the 18 volt, I got a run time of 1 hour and 17 minutes. Whereas with the 40 volt, I got a run time of 2 hours and 18 minutes. So you are literally seeing almost double runtime, and that's what I would expect between these two. Now let's jump up to the 6 amp hour batteries. For the 18 volt, I got an hour and 38 minutes, whereas the 40, 40 volt ran 3 hours and 40 minutes. So again, you're going to see that increased runtime because of the wattage availability, that potential energy. Now, what I wanted to do for giggles, and this took a little bit longer than expected, which is a good thing, again, is the 18 volt 9 amp hour battery. The run time for that is 2 hours and 42 minutes. So you're going to see it still didn't get close to what the 6 amp hour did. And, I, you know, I don't think anyone was really guessing who was going to be the winner, but this is showing you on a baseline test what the actual comparative run times are. So, you know, I really hope this helps somebody out. And I think this is more geared towards the uh, power sources, if you will. If you're thinking about one or the other, you know, what's it going to power? How long is it going to power it? Well, I think that answers your question. The 40 volt is most certainly going to power more. It's going to last longer. Uh, but the 18 volt, it's really convenient. It's more compact and you may have more of the batteries. So depending on what you're running, that's what you need to gear that towards. So I hope this helped everyone. If it did, please consider subscribing. Hey, hit that like button, and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.